guys, it's Rachel from Rachel Republic. I have an all new recipe and it's how to make a matcha white chocolate bar topped with coconut flakes and freeze dried raspberries. You'll only need four ingredients and this includes white chocolate, matcha powder, freeze dried raspberries and coconut flakes. So first we're going to go ahead and melt the chocolate and also temper it so make sure you have a candy thermometer but if you don't, don't worry, just melt the chocolate as you would normally. In a double boiler we're going to heat up three quarters of the white chocolate that we have and set aside the other quarter for later. When the chocolate is at 110 degrees Fahrenheit, remove it from the heat and then add in that extra quarter of white chocolate that we set aside and stir that in until it's nice and smooth. Now we're going to add our matcha powder and stir that in as well. So now we're going to add half of a quarter cup of freeze dried raspberries that we're using for this recipe. So don't add all of it, just add in half. And once those are mixed in, we can move on to the coconut flakes. So only use half of the sixth cup of coconut flakes that we need for this recipe. Now your mixture should be a little bit lumpy, but that's okay. We are going to pour the white chocolate onto a baking tray lined with parchment paper. Since I'm making a pretty small batch here, I'm only going to use about half of this mini baking tray. Essentially, you're just going to want to smooth out the chocolate as best you can on the surface. Once you're satisfied with how it looks, we can go back to that half cup of freeze-dried raspberries and coconut flakes that we didn't use. So just gently crush some of the freeze-dried raspberries and sprinkle that on top and then do the same for the coconut flakes. Now we're gonna put the matcha bark into the freezer for 30 minutes or you can let it sit at room temperature for about two hours. Once it's nice and solidified, we can go ahead and chop it into little pieces. So for bark, you can like, you know, like peppermint bark, you can use your hands to break it up or you can use a knife. That's what I did, but it was a little bit of a struggle, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I think they turned out really well in the end. This recipe yields about eight pieces of matcha bark, but if you want more, just go ahead and double the recipe. You guys definitely have to try this recipe out and let me know if you do. It tastes really good. It's like a very nice sweet matcha base topped with a little bit of tart raspberry and unsweetened coconut which actually adds a lot of flavor and complements uh, the matcha flavoring really well. So I hope you guys try this out and I'll see you next time. Bye!